Hello everyone, uh, this is a video on FECO in mature cataract. Uh, not all uh, mature cataracts are seen. This is a sclerotic type of mature cataract. So now uh, entering the anterior chamber with keratone 2.8. Putting the scholastics over the cornea for better visualization and uh, magnification a little bit. Starting the capsule axis with uh, transient gaze cystitone. So here, uh, uh, like uh, intubation mature cataract, uh, the, chem the bag is not pressurized, so uh, the axis hardly extends to the periphery if one maintains the chamber. And also see that uh, the capsule is also a little bit of uh, fibrosed. Make sure that the capsule is always flat while continuing it. And then the axis has been completed. So in this uh, mature cataract, I uh, avoid doing hydro dissection. Here I'm uh, using spatula to separate the cortex from the anterior lens capsule on both the sides, swiping it below the axis margin. So now uh, I've introduced a sharp chopper here for doing the pegal emulsification. Initially, I prefer to do a short trench. The parameters are here written. So making a short trench so that uh, this pegal tip can be impaled deep inside for chopping. So for chopping, I usually prefer a little bit of higher vacuum for better holdability so aim is to uh, do the chopping so that to get uh, at least uh, 6 to 8 pieces make sure that the posterior plate is uh, cracked here yeah, the posterior plate is being cracked easily nucleus is not very dense So now it's time to do cordon emulsification. Here I prefer a little bit of higher flow rate so that the flowability will be good. Replacing my sharp chopper to a blunt Sinsky. The FACO parameters are also shown here. So the small chips which are there in the entry chamber, better to remove them uh, before proceeding with we are removing the nuclear pie because the small pieces uh, sometimes they can hide in the angle or sometimes below the iris and uh, uh, they are not found in the surgery and uh, this can be the cause for persistent iritis or CME in the post-operative period. So then the last piece make sure to reduce the flow rate. So the figure one seven has been completed. Now doing irrigation aspiration. Here looks like uh, there is no cortical matter here. Going below and checking, doing the polishing of the anterior lens capsule on the surface. Switched my hand. Here you can see that uh, sometimes the cortical matter can be there hidden inside the capsule or bag deep inside. Uh, near the equator so one should be very careful while taking out those cortical matter uh, not to pull the bag polishing the outer surface of the excess margin in doing hydro uh, polishing of the posterior capsule inflating the bag for implanting a plate heptic hydrophilic IOL within the capsular bag. Closing the main tunnel and the side port before proceeding with your visco removal. Yeah. 
we're going to the scholastic from the entire chamber <coughs> sorry and uh, need to go below the eye well also to remove the viscoelastic which is there behind the eye well and within the capsular bag now going below the eye well when the pupil becomes small uh, chances of catching the uh, your pupil margin is quite high should be careful injecting uh, the side, uh, hydrating the side port before taking out the irrigation cannula so that the chamber doesn't collapse suddenly and that's it uh, the chamber is formed hydrating the side ports injecting antibiotic thank you